Okay, so this is chapter 4, Connex. So today we are going to look at 4.1 circles and how to form the equation of a circle. Okay, so basically in equation of a circle, we have two kind of equation. We can have a standard equation and then we have a general equation as well. So if this is the circle, then if this is your center, then that means the distance from center until over here until your x and y so this is what is known as the radius so this is radius if you have 2 times the radius then this is actually a diameter ok so standard equation we have x minus h square plus y minus k square equal to r square and then to calculate the radius, you simply take this value, take the square root of this r square to get the value of r. And then the center, we're going to get them from the h and the k. So those are our center. If we have a general equation of a circle, the equation is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0. In order to find the radius, we have to know what is the value of g, f and c first. And then you simply do g square plus f square minus c. To cut, to find the center, we simply do the negative g and negative f, and that will become the coordinate of the center. Okay, so let us look at some simple example. Okay, so example number one: find the center and radius of x square plus y square plus five x minus six y minus five equal to zero. So basically, I'm going to do the standard equation first. And once we have the answer for the standard equation, I'm going to show you how we can solve them using the general equation. Okay, so in order to get the standard equation, we must do computing the square. So we have x square plus y square plus 5x minus 6y minus 5 equal to 0. And then to do computing the square, we simply need to do computing the square x with x, y with y. So we rearrange everything. So x square plus 5x plus y square minus 6y minus 5 equal to 0. And then we're going to do computing the square for the x and computing the square for the y. So in order to do computing the square, I have to prepare bracket minus bracket square square. And then since this this is x square inside here should be an x take positive 5 you divide them by 2 so this is positive 5 over 2 and then copy down this value to here so this is 5 over 2 square and then plus so another computing the square for the y bracket square minus bracket square so this is y square it should be a y negative 6 we're gonna divide them by 2 so this is negative 3 negative 3 simply copy down the constant negative 5 equal to 0 so this one we're gonna leave them as x plus 5 over 2 square minus so 5 square is 25 over 4 because we have 2 square so 25 over 4 plus with y minus 3 square and then negative 3 with a square, that one will be positive 9. So this is negative 9, negative 5 equal to 0. So x plus 5 over 2 square plus with y minus 3 square. So this is equal to 25 over 4 plus with 9 and then plus with 5. So 25 plus 36 plus 20. So this is 81 over 4. So this is x plus 5 over 2 square plus with y minus 3 square and this is equal to 81 over 4. So to find the center and the radius, we have to compare them with the standard equation. So x minus h square plus with y minus k square equal to r square. So when we compare, we can see that this is negative h, this is 5 over 2. So you can see that h must be negative 5 over 2. And then if you compare this with this, you're going to see that k is exactly equal to 3. And then if you compare these two, you're going to see that r is equal to the square root of 81 over 4, which is simply 9 over 2. So I do know what is the radius. Now I need to have the center. 
So center is H and K. So this is equal to negative 5 over 2 and 3. So we have our center as well as the radius. Now let us try to solve them using the general equation. So similar question but now let us solve using general equation. So x square plus y square plus with 5x minus with 6y minus 5 equal to 0. General equation we are going to compare them with x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0. So let us compare and get the value of g, f and c. Okay, so if we compare for the x, over here we have 5, this is 2g. So if you compare them, you're going to see that 2g must be equal to 5, g must be equal to 5 over 2. And then if you compare for the f, so this is f, don't forget you have to take the sign as well. So we have 2f equal to negative 6, f must be equal to negative 3. And then for the C, take the sign as well. So C is simply equal to negative 5. So now, in order to know the center, so the center for the general equation, you can refer to the previous note. This is negative G and negative F. So based on this one, our G is 5 over 2. So the center should be negative 5 over 2. Negative, negative 3. So negative 5 over 2 and 3. Meanwhile, to calculate the radius, we have to use the formula. This is g square plus f square minus c. So I'm going to take the g 5 over 2 square plus with negative 3 square minus with negative 5. And then of course everything inside a square root. So this is simply equal to the square root of 81 over 4 which again gonna give us 9 over 2. So this is how we can get our center and radius. So you can choose either to compare them with the standard equation or you can compare them with the general equation. It is actually depends on what do we have. If let's say we have them in the general form, I prefer to compare them with the general equation. If we have them in the standard form, everything has been square. So I prefer to compare them with the standard equation. Okay, so I'm going to see you in the next example.